Thank you. Councillor, Councillor Conway. Thank you, Lord Mayor. I'll have to excuse my voice. Uh, thank you for those words, uh, Councillor Brees. I have got concerns with what Councillor Pervez has said. One of the things I did pick up during this speech was to protect the vulnerable. Can I just go back on what you've done since you've been in power? And I'm not going to the whole list, but I'm going to talk about the vulnerable. First of all, you had removed the pensioners' lifeline poll cords. That was the start of it. Then his field house, early house, St. Michael's, the animal farm used by children, Fenton Pool, Tunstall Swimming Pool, the Wellfield Pool, the Lollipop Wardens, and the pensioners' bus fare cuts, which you couldn't use till half past nine. I'm sorry, but that is not protecting the vulnerable. That is targeting the vulnerable. With all this and all the cuts, even in my wildest dreams, I never ever dreamt that we would go as far as to cut a town like Stoke. And that's what you've done along with these, these cuts. You're cutting a town. I don't want to hear about aspirations of building a cubic tower, as I call it. I want to know what you are going to do for Stoke. You're going to borrow money for the Central Business District. How much money are you going to borrow to invest in Stoke? I haven't heard anything of this. I did ask Councillor Pervez for a risk assessment, which you say you're going to do in part. I've never heard of that system, I've got to be honest. The truth about the matter is, the risk is too great. Far too great. And what's happening in this city, you're not even getting the basics right. If you disbelieve me, Go and drive on our roads. We used to have potholes. We've got pit shafts now. They're that big. They're that big. So don't talk to me about moving to the city central, borrowing money to do it, when you can't even get the road infrastructure proper. It's a disgrace. It is. You want to live where I live? It's like playing dodgems. It really is. It's crazy the way we're going. I have to say that I don't know whose idea this was, mandate for change, for it's a change for the worse. And as Councillor Brees said, what we need is a politics of change. We really do. I don't agree with the bedroom tax put in by this government. I really don't. I've had moans and calls and calls. I don't. But equally, I don't, and I don't agree with what you are doing. You're borrowing money, redundancies, cuts after cuts after cuts. It doesn't make sense. Don't the people come first? Doesn't the city come first? Not one town, not one town, the city. We're a proud people. We really are. And we're still recognised as the master potters of the world. And we are. And I've been reading today about what they're going to do to stop people copying our backstamps. People want to copy our backstamps. That's what it's about. People want wear that they can turn over and see made in Stoke-on-Trent. That's what they want to see. This is where we've got to go. We've got to do what we are best at. You can bring in whatever you want, but we are best at making pots. And don't tell me it's dying. Port Merion hasn't died. Moorcroft hasn't died. We're still the master potters. We are the craftsmen. But what you're doing at the moment is, you're killing the city. You are. You are, Councillor Pabez. You are sacrificing 
You are sacrificing our carers. You have sacrificed our swimming pools. You have sacrificed the roads. You've sacrificed everything what's dear to the people of this city. You really have. And you can't see it. I'll tell you what, Council Babes, if there was elections in May, whether you like it or not, you'd get wiped out. And I have to say this with sadness, that I was once a member of your party. And when I joined the party, I was proud to be called a socialist. With all these cuts and everything, can you really call yourself socialist? What did Keir Hardy say when he walked into the House of Commons in 1907? There are people in this house today, he said, who are more interested in their bank balance than they are in the plight of the poor. You have not changed. You have not changed. I'd be ashamed. That's the, just a bit, Councillor. Yeah. You've got every right to speak, but I'm not having that noise in here while people are speaking. I don't mind when the people are finished speaking, if you want to make your views known, but any more of that, and I will, I do assure you, the next time I have to stop so the speaker can carry on, I will clear the, the public gallery. I have been called a closet Tory from the other side. I resent that. I resent that. I have no closet Tory. But I think I'd rather be called a closet Tory than the raving loony party, which you lot are now being called. What the hell are you doing? Where are your socialist principles? Where are they? When we see people, old people, standing at the bus stop at 28 minutes past nine and not allowed to get on even when he's throwing it down with rain. You know, the old pensioners used to go tonsil baths. You know, and the people who used that pool, who used to go for their health reasons. You can nod your heads. That's a fact. I've done my own work. It's a case of, you know, we should be. You are elected by the people, for the people. And yet we have now something I've never seen and something you've never seen. Mass demonstrations, marches. We've never, ever seen that in this city. We are the laid-back people. But we've had enough. People have had enough. They don't want it anymore. They really don't. They thought they could put confidence in us as councillors to do what they wanted us to do. And what have we done? Where's your fight been? Yes, the government have done cuts. The government isn't responsible for a lot of it. But where is your fight? Where's the real socialist fight in spirit that we used to have? I haven't seen it. I really haven't seen it. And once again, I have to remind you what Keir Hardy said. And I have to say, friends across there, and I've got some friends in the Labour group, what are you doing? Follow your socialist principles. Not, not what officers tell you to do or what's best for you, but what's best for the people. That's what you're supposed, to, that's what you're there for. And honestly, you've let them down. You've let them down. It's about time you searched your consciences. It's about time you stood up on behalf of the people who elected you. And if you think I'm wrong, then I'm sorry, you're not socialist. If you think I'm wrong, you are not socialist. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Conway.